All right, good afternoon from Bele, Maryland. This is your brother, Bob Takusi. I'm coming to you from the beautiful city of Bele in the United States. It's good to be here for another version of our Sunday webinars at The Heroes. We thank you for taking the time to uh, join us. We have today with us, of course, the one and only, the great Mike Ellis is joining us from the great state of Colorado. We have uh, Brother Madi is in the background. His camera is closed, but I know maybe at some point he's going to pop in and say a word or two. Of course, our brothers, Oliver uh, and the Bex is here. Eva is joining us from Bangladesh and Mino, of course, is here. Uh, Gifty is also coming in from Germany and Sister Joycelyn. Those are the cameras that are open that I see. So thank you for taking this time uh, to join us again. Of course, we meet here every week uh, on Sundays at 2 p.m. Eastern time. I see Mohammed Siad also from Canada has opened his camera. So welcome, everybody, and uh, we hope you're going to have an insightful moment with us next couple of hours. Um, today, our topic is um, just uh, looking back at Unpassive 360 from from Wednesday when our founder, Mr. Ash, came out. He also did what he does best, just give us some juice. So we have our brother, Mike Ellis, is here. He's going to uh, uh, take the lead. And then we, all of us, everybody will come in. You can you can um, chime in on what you heard from Mr. Ash on 360, or you can say anything inspirational. So the topic is looking back at 360 from last week and anything that you have that's inspirational. If you didn't remember anything or you don't have anything about the 360, you have anything inspirational to give to us, it is welcome. So thank you, everybody. I'll just start by opening by saying that a few words, uh, and then I'll pass it on to to Brother Mike. Um, <clears throat> for me, on 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 Wednesday, I did not follow it live. I was at work, so I I listened to it after, and I implore everybody from now on. I will op always open by asking everybody one when whenever Mister Ash comes out or there's any any significant development from one of our great leaders like Mike Ellis, Marty, Chris, please always go back and listen to it for yourself. Yes, we're going to do as best as we can to, to break it down to explain, but it is good for you to also listen with your own ears. So I did that. I, I went back and I listened to it a couple of times. And uh, in summary for me, um, Mr. Ash, to me, when I saw him, he was, first of all, you look at his disposition. He was calm, cool, and collected as always. He seemed happy, you know, very relaxed, which was very good. But the, the first significant thing that he said just upon opening was he showed tremendous gratitude to all of us, every single one of us who was there. He, he was very happy that we are, we are still there, we are still hanging in there, and that the, the support and the loyalty and commitment that we are giving also drives him, you know? It also keeps him uh, keeps him up to keep, keep on working hard for all of us. So that was very appreciative, and I think we should keep doing that because it, it doesn't only keep us good and healthy and fine, it also motivates our founder, Mr. Ash, to keep going to work for us. You know, the work that is being done is being done on our behalf. You know, and he, he, he stated it very clearly that we should know that this is just temporal. It's just it's just like a passing cloud, you know? It is just like a passing cloud. It will soon go fade away and we'll be back to business as usual. He likened um, unpassive to be an ideology. You know, an ideology is something that cannot die. You can go to a country, you can kill everybody in a country, even the children that are still the little children, once they grow up, that ideology stays. So unpassive is that ideology that is going to live from one generation to another, that the concept is bigger. It's much, much bigger now than a than few years ago. So unpassive is not what we thought when we, five years ago, six years ago, or even when Mr. Ash himself conceived the idea. It is now very, very big, and it, it's, it's hard to stop. Then he gave us some four reasons why all passive is more important today than it was five years ago. He talked about we, that we can see the other side with our concept and everything is different. It's now clear. It's bright. There's nobody with this kind of concept. We can see the other side. We are close, 90% at the end zone. We are, we are heading towards the, the end and we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. He also talked about who we have. Who we have. The talent acquisition of all passive is beyond measure, you know. They have shifted it, shifted it, and now he has the right talent that we have that are working for us around the clock. And our vision, the vision is out there. It has been there for a while. Nobody has been able to replicate it because its unpassive vision is different. It's not any company that wants to copy unpassive, unpassive vision is going to have to start from scratch. You have to 
You have to dismantle your entire infrastructure and start from ground up. That's not possible. You, you can't just do that, you know. And then he said, well, we have learned a lot. In going forward, we have learned a lot. We've made some mistakes. We've corrected them and we're moving forward. And he told us to make sure the source of information, where we get our information from, should be a trusted source, someone who is motivating to you, someone who, 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 who is more effective, you know, who, who, who inspires you and, 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 you know, you can you can really relate to them. Don't just go and get information. Stay away from all the naysayers. You know, he talked about how one negative thought can can affect your immune system for almost for the eight hours. So that's just a roundup for what I got. But I'm going to pass it on to our expert communicator, the man that I call the Habinga, the Habinga of Unpack. The Habinga is a man who a, a message bearer, the one who delivers a message, who announces who announces stuff. And that's none other than our brother, Mike Ellis. Brother Mike, take it over, please. Well, I, I appreciate that, Bob. Uh, we, we do what we can. We uh, we try and uh, uh, bring Ash, Ash Mufar's vision to the forefront. And and most people, when they hear it, they, uh, yeah, they they agree with us. And, and you know, when, when, when you talk about looking back, and, and you're talking about looking back just a few days yes. at what Mr. Mufar said, and anytime I, I start to look back, I, I always go back to the beginning. And as we came in onto on passive, as Marty Dan and I came on uh, five and a half years ago, after we listened to Ash Mufar, we, we had a mission. We had work to do. And, and each of us, Marty, Dan, and myself, we understood our roles, what we needed to do. And we understood it wouldn't be easy but if you did the work, if you did the work while you had the time, and we didn't know we were going to have five and a half years. Uh, when we first came in, we thought we were going to have six months, boom, on passive would launch and, and the world would change. Uh, but that's not the way it was, luckily. And, and believe me, I'm glad that that wasn't the way it was. I'm glad we had the five and a half years. And and we really worked it very, very hard for about two and a half years. And there, there were a lot of things in there we did in that two and a half years. And then after two and a half years, everything, we we really couldn't bring any other people on board when, when Mr. Mufara got rid of the founder position. But we had to continue to work to keep people engaged so that they understood what Mr. Mufara was doing and, and where on passive was going. So we, we still had great incentive to do what we were doing. And there, there, there was a period of time in there, uh, really the last year, uh, for me, uh, a lot of anxiety, but it's good anxiety. It's not bad anxiety as, as far as when is Mr. Mufar going to launch? When, when is Unpassive going to start doing the things that, that we've talked about all this time? And during that time, <clears throat> um, you still had to do the things you were doing. It, 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 it's, it's hard to keep that momentum. And, and, and I have to commend everybody here uh, for doing the things that they've been doing over the last year, two years, three years. Uh, it hasn't been an easy thing. It's been very, very difficult to come on and and proclaim on passive, even though we couldn't tell people tomorrow it's it, it's launching. And here we are. We listened to Ash uh, a week ago or two weeks ago, uh, and he talked the last two weeks. And all of a sudden, the excitement level it starts to get turned up again, and and you listen to Mr. Mufar and you start to understand that. Yeah, pretty soon he's going to come out and he's just going to say, go, it's ready. And when that happens, each and every one of us, all of a sudden, we have that business back in front of us where, where there are unnumerable uh, things that we can do moving forward to build our business, to get to that place where we have financial freedom, all the things that we're looking for, being able to live the life we want to live. And as I as I listen to Ash Mufara, <clears throat> again, there's a little anxiety there because I'm ready. I, I want to go. I want. I want to get going. I want to be able to do things that over the last year we haven't been able to do. <clears throat> and as I listen to Ash, you start to understand that not only are you going to be able to do all the things that you you hoped you you were you were going to be able to do, 
And even if you didn't, even if you just came in and you want to participate, you want to engage, you want to pass to go to work for you, that too is going to be even better than we thought. But Mr. Bufara, he he gave us hints of what's coming. And I thought the the first two and a half years where we really got engaged, where we really had the goals we wanted to meet, I thought that was really, really extraordinary. And, and obviously on passive, it just grew and grew and grew. But as big as it's gotten to today and what's going to be coming in the future, and, and I'm, I'm just getting this from everything Mr. Mufar is saying, because he's so confident right now, even though he had a very, very hard time for, I'd say, a year, probably more than that. Today, it is so bright. And the things that we're going to be able to do, they're going to they're going to exceed even my expectations. Marty's Dan, some of the people here. And I know a lot of you are really, really big dreamers. And when you start to look at the products, when you start to look at the markets, when you start to look at the money involved, when you start to look at all of those things and you start adding everything up, all of a sudden you kind of feel a little insignificant because what can I do with that big a market? I mean, what am I going to do to even dent that market? Here's here's what's really, really cool. You don't have to do much. I mean, if, if you come in, if you engage, if you do a few things that that some of us will be recommending, you don't have to do much to get to that place where you're living the lifestyle you want to live. I don't care what that lifestyle is. You can name it. And, it. and it even gets better than that. As I listened to Ash just a couple of weeks ago, because of because of what he's doing, <laughs> because of some of the things that he's doing, and I won't go any further than that, the scalability that each and every one of us is going to have, and this this is you. If, if, if you're not a marketer, if, if you can't do anything online, it doesn't matter. Because of what Mr. Mofaro is doing, because of what's going to be happening very quickly now, and because of the scalability that you're going to be, you're going to have, it's going to be available available to you, and you're not and you're going to know how to do it. It's not hard, guys. You're going to know how to do it. You can you can set your marker wherever that marker is. I don't, I don't care where it is. I mean, if you want to make two thousand a month, that's terrific. You can set that marker. I I think you'll be there in weeks or days. But you can set that marker. You're going to be fine. I think you ought to dream a little higher than that. But if, if that's where you're at, and, and I know in some places of the world, that's a lot of money. It, it puts you in a whole different class. So whatever that marker is, you're going to be able to set it with the understanding and really get this. <clears throat> and this is why Ash tells you to dream and dream higher. Set your marker because he's putting the products and the tools in front of you that will allow you to hit that point very, very quickly. And if, if your marker is fairly high, Maybe it takes six months. Maybe it takes a year. Maybe it takes two years. But if your mark is very, very high, you have to understand during that time, every day, every week, every month, it's your your the, the amount of Apple's money that you're making, it is increasing every day, every week, every month uh, because of what Mr. Mufar is doing and because of the things that you can do. So it doesn't matter if it takes six months, a year, two years. Every day, every week that you're doing what you're doing, that income is continuing to grow and grow and grow. And it's all because Mr. Mufar has put into place a way that people can come in, have a business and scale it. You don't know how difficult that is. 99% of the people online today, they cannot do that. They cannot scale their business. It's, it is so difficult. And what Mr. Mufar is doing with the products and the services that he's offering it makes it available for all of us. So as you start to think about what, what Mr. Mufar is saying, uh, take it all in. I, I think it's all awesome to understand the journey, what he's gone through, what's been happening. I, I think it's great that he's been sharing all of that with us. But it's even more impressive when he starts to share what's going to be happening very quickly. Uh, I, I believe it'll be weeks rather than months. Uh, I don't know when it's going to happen. I really don't. Uh, but when it happens, I know... And I talked to Dan Street about this this morning, and, and Dan made a really, really good point. He said, you know, when, when Mr. Mufara comes back in and he, he brings back the OES back office, we can all come in, BioConnect, and Unpassive starts to roll. There cannot be another stop. It has to be perfect. It has to be able to run for the next 100 years. And Mr. Mufara knows that. And as he, as, 
as he gets to that place where he's comfortable, he can bring the OES back up, back office back up. We buy OConnect and we move. He's going to do that. What is the time frame? I, I don't think it's that far, really, guys. But I don't know personally. I, I really don't. I, I haven't heard that from Mr. Mufar or anybody else. But I know he's very, very close. I, I know we're going to get there. And then when we get there, start thinking about your goals, your ambitions, what you want to do, how you want to live. Set that bar higher than you think it should be. If you're here, go ahead and set that bar up here. I think you'll get here very, very quickly. And then you can work on the, the other 30% or whatever it is. So we're, we're in a, I think we're just in a great place. It's uh, it's fun to come on. I think today we're talking to mostly, mostly affiliates here. Maybe we'll have some new people uh, uh, on the uh, YouTube channels. If you're new, you need to explore on passive. It is the only place that is doing what they're doing, giving people the opportunity to come in, engage, have on passive, go to work for you, and then develop that income over time. So it really is unique. It's it, and I think it's even more unique than we think. And I, I believe as Mr. Mufar gets closer to that point where he's going to put the OES back back office back up, that's the unpassive back office. Um, I think he'll explain more about where we are, where we're going. Uh, it, it's going to be really, really fun. I I think the next couple of weeks are just going to be awesome, guys. I really do. So keep your ears open, keep your ears open, eyes open. Listen to the OTEC pros. I think we're there. Go ahead, Bob. You're muted. There All you right. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, you 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 open by saying that yes, we have we have been keeping ourselves engaged, you know, with everything going on. And I want to thank you on behalf of all the founders, the founding uh, members worldwide for having kept us engaged throughout the, the years. You know, you have been consistently helping us know where we are. And I think we should not take that for, for granted. You talk well, about scalability. I, and yeah. and mm -hmm. my thanks goes to you guys too, Bob, because believe me, uh you you do as much for me as I do for you. And probably more so and probably more so. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. And uh, you know, you mentioned scalability. Yes, that's true. It's a business that is going to go to work for you, and then you can scale it. It does not have an in, it's an infinite scalability, right? Depending on how much you want, you set the, uh, set it to auto. Oh my goodness, somebody's crashing. <laughs> Kid back. Someone is sharing the screen. Yeah. You, you have to move, you have to meet them or, remo or remove them. You have to meet the person. Uh, I'm not the admin. Who, uh, 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 the, the, you a co host can do that. Let me see. Am I even a co host? No. Give, give me the co host. Let me, let me deal with him. Okay, it's gone. I'm going to take care of it. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, please don't share your screen. Just just uh focus here with us. And uh if you want to speak, put your hand up. We're gonna call you and then you can you can come on. Yes, I was just saying that these are the business is set up for you. You come in, do what they ask you to do, and you set it up if you want to you can, you can scale to infinity, you know. And let us remember that Mr. Ash also has one bullet left in his chamber. So when he's coming back now, he's firing that bullet, and there he goes. So uh thank you very much, Brother Mike. And I'm going to call on the one and only Mr. Andy Bex um, from the UK and Ireland. Andy, um, please uh, talk to us. What anything inspiring or what you you know you can take us back, looking back at Unpassive Three Sixty of Wednesday. Anything that that stood out for you? That Absolutely, you can Bob. <clears throat> Absolutely. Um, uh, one of the things that I suppose most of us have, have, uh, have forgotten. Um, I certainly had. When you um, start a, uh, a career, uh, in a lot of cases, you're given a mentor. You're given somebody who knows the job uh, and you follow around like a little puppy dog and, and understand how to do it and what they're doing. But one thing that um, <clears throat> Ash said the other day that really struck a chord with me was that, you know, what, what you've got to do is follow leaders, Forget following. Why, why would you follow a loser? Um, and you know there are a, a lot of things out there on on YouTube. Um, <clears throat> many of these have, have, have come from guys that are like, like us, that are early bird um, guys. And I really, really do not understand the mentality behind that thought process. 
at the end of the day, we're here because we have a man who has put his all, all into producing or creating a company that will be one of the largest worldwide. Um, and he said, look, you know, if you're in a swimming pool and you're doing 100 metres, do you, do you stop at 95 and go, I can't do any more, I'll sink or I'll, or, or I'll go back? No, you you carry on to the end. You get through the last bit. So the the heavy lifting, the hard work has been done. And now, um, uh, as Mike has mentioned before, we've got the issues. We know they know what the issues are. They know what the problems are. They're dealing with those. And then it's a case of getting that last five yards. So, you know, for me, I'm with, with Mike on this one. I've never been more excited because we are that close. And this is a numbers game, bearing in mind, and we've already got a million, over a million paid customers. You know, this is a big number, people, a big number, because any company that starts up that can can acquire a million customers, you go, whoa, hold on a second. So we are in the best position ever, and I think it's brilliant. Um, as I said, I've, I'm so excited. But um, you've also got to bear in mind that this is never, ever going to happen again in our lifetime, ever. Right, you've got an opportunity here. Why not take it? What have you got to lose? Not cost you anything. This is the most exciting opportunity I have come across in my number of years on this planet. <laughs> um, and I wish I'd found it when I was 18 and not now. But but um, it, it, we've got an opportunity here. Let's not let's not lose it. This is the best opportunity we are ever going to see in our lifetime, guys and girls. Um, and as I said, I'm more excited now by what's happening and, and how things are progressing than I have been for the last four or five years because we're that close. We're 95 metres down the pool. We've got five more metres to go. So back to you, Bob. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, thank you. That was well said. In fact, someone wrote in the chat that Following a loser is like the blind leading the blind. <laughs> I thought that was cute. And then Mr. Ash himself, you see, I, 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 I noted this down. He said, I wouldn't follow someone that I am doing better than them. Why would you follow someone that you are doing better or that you think you know a little bit more than them? He said that we are all winners. All of us, we are all winners. Those are Axel Farah's words. So thank you very much, my brother Andy. And I'm going to go to uh, Miss Gifty. Gifty, I saw Gifty. From Germany, Gifty, please come on down and uh, give us <laughs> your take. <laughs> hey, hey, give us your take on what you heard in 360 or anything inspiring. Why so early? <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> okay. I, I want them to see your lovely smile. That's why. <laughs> thank you very much, my dear brother. Thank you. Yeah, I think uh, Brother Mike has spoken, and he has spoken. It is true. When you are leading a blind man, it's definitely you are going to be blind because whatever the blind man is doing is what you are going to do. But our dear CEO countlessly has given us hope upon hope upon hope upon hope. Unpassive is here to stay. No matter what comes, Unpassive is here to stay. He said 20% 20, 20 of the problem are mechanic. So it means all everything that we need is done. All passive is a done deal. So as you leaders have been always saying that we have to be patient and endure. Endurance is very, very important because uh, your secret is your power. Mr. Ash Mofara cannot come out and say one, two, three, four. No, those days are over because whenever he comes out to say anything, we have more enemies. We have, I mean, those who are fighting us day in, day out. So now he cannot come out and tell us everything, but he comes out to pour his heart onto us 
So you have to rest assured that Mr. Ash Mufara is not hiding anything from us. He is pouring out each day in and out for us to understand him. So we have to understand him and back him with prayers. Because for me, I'm happy where we are. And I'm happy that he's not coming out to tell us everything like he used to say. Come out earlier on and tell us everything. As for now, I'm very happy because I don't want him to come out to open his mouth and say, we are here, we are here, we have this, we have this for the enemy to get something and stand upon it. So I'm very happy where we are now. Let us be focused and rally behind our CEO and pray behind him because on passive is a big company. It's a group of companies all together. It is so big. Yeah, that's why our challenges are also big. But we have a strong man, a bold man who is leading us. So we shouldn't be afraid. If Mr. Ash Mofara is shaking, then we will be also shaking. But he is a bold, with the, throughout the storm, this man is coming out boldly with putting on smiles whilst we know he's going through a lot. But this man is putting up smiles for us to cheer up. So we have to also rally behind him, pray behind him and support him, not murmuring. When are we there? Are we there yet? When are we going to be there? Are we, there? we have to stop and also follow our dear great leaders who give us positive message. Not those who will come and complain. Not those who will come and murmur. No. If I come to your, I mean, your webinar or something and I see the way you are talking, choose, I will never be there again. No matter what you do, I will never be there because you will not encourage me to grow in wh what I'm doing. So that is my advice for each and everyone. If you go somewhere and what they are doing, even though the name on passive is on it, but what they are doing is not encouraging, just stay away. Don't follow a loser. Don't follow someone who is there to mama all the time and I don't know where we are. No. If you don't know, look at our CEO. Look at the, I mean, the, the dedicated leaders who are following him day in, day out, every day doing YouTube. If they get discouraged, then we will can, we can say we are discouraged. But they are pushing. Our CEO, CEO is also pushing. So let us also push behind him, rally behind him, pray behind him, pray for him and his family and pray for the team. I know they are doing good. They are doing better. But I, I love it that Mr. Ash is not coming out to voice it out because uh, he voiced out earlier and people took him for granted. So I'm so happy that he's not voicing things out now, but I know for sure we are in a great hands. So let us follow our captain as he's boldly leading us. Let us, I mean, rally behind him with prayers and support and we will reach our promised land. It will not take long. We will reach there, but it takes faith faith and hope in our CEO and we will definitely get there. Thank you, brother. Paul. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's exactly what the doctor offered, uh, uh, the doctor ordered for us to do. Thank you so much, my sister Gifty. <laughs> Thank you. you know, Thank we are going to, we are, we are fine. That's how we should all stay focused. Yeah. We are fine. We should all stay yeah. focused indeed. Yeah. And uh, that was well said. I don't know if anyone can put it any better uh, than you have. And talking about being fine and focused, you know, my brother Oliver has been away for the past two weekends. We have not been actually able to listen to him clearly because of the network connections and that he was the challenges that he was facing while traveling to Africa and back. And I know he's fired up and he's not he, he cannot wait to get this microphone to take, give us his own take. He has been itching to talk to to his people for the past couple of weeks. So my brother Oliver, I'm going to send it over to you now for you to Give us your reaction. You can take it from any angle because I know you've missed out in the past couple of weeks. Take it from any angle and inspire us the way you can. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, everyone, for being here. And thank you, Bob. And thank you, Mike Ellis. Gifty, that was a wonderful one there. Andy, uh, that was very wonderful. And I want to appreciate everybody that is here. And the yes, and yes, and yes, we should be focused. And when we are focused, we are going to be fine. That's, that is the motto that we need, we need now, that how we need to energize the base and to make sure that we rally behind our CEO. He needs that, he needs that force and that 
prayer than now, according to our sister Gifty. He will need that force, that encouragement, that prayers to carry on every, wherever we are going. And look, guys, we should, we should rely and we trust the CEO. He is the only machine that will come out, the only person that will come out and when he talks to us, we should, we should listen. And he, he, he told us the other day that 99, we are 99% to the success and we are 90% closer. What does that tell you? That makes us to understand that we are there and we should be focused. And as we are focused again, we are fine. And there's this thing that I also want to, I also want to, also want to say. Good things come to those who believe. We believe that the CEO, what the people he's working with, they are going to deliver. And we and now we have in any company they, they, they restructure. In any company, they restructure. It happens. If you are in the corporate world, you know that this thing happens almost all the time. You cannot deliver. Oh, why should we keep you and pay that amount of money that way? You cannot deliver. So that belief, we should believe in him and we should believe in his in his leadership. Again, better things come to those who are patient. A patient does eat the fattest bone. That's the saying that we always, we always say that in Africa and in Cameroon. A patient does eat the fattest bone. And we always use this word also here among us here, that patient is a, is a virtue. You know, when you are patient, we, we've not gone anywhere. Because when you look at other tech companies, Apple, Apple was not, they, they started, I mean, this late guy started, I mean, I mean, 2000 and, 2000 and uh, no, 1993. Uh, the first Apple product went out when? 1993. <laughs> you know, so we are, we are fine where we are. So let me say this, guys, be patient, be patient and have that belief. The last one that I also want to say is this. Best thing comes to those who don't give up. We should not give up. The CEO is there with the baton. Leading us with that baton, he is there and he said, "Is do or die." I, I can quote Winston Churchill. He said that never, never, and never would give up. That is the spirit we should have within us. We should not give up. We should not give up. You know, because the the who the person that is leading us, Mr. Ash Mufara, our CEO, is there. He says, "Do or die," and he is doing everything. He said, "We should forget about the mechanics. The company is taking the risk." And as the company is taking the risk, we should relax, chillax, be focused, be focused. All what we need to do now, like or, or like me, I've changed the phrase. I hope now I say I know. In a couple of weeks, in a couple of months, we are going to be fine. I don't use the word hope anymore. I use the word I know. That is an, an authority that I've given to myself that on passive has come to stay, and we will not give up. And the the CEO has that baton to lead us until the day he will say that this is what is there, this is what is there, then, you know? So I know. And the other word that I've given to myself, I've proposed to myself is I need. I need. I need to make my plan come out with a scale of preference. Where am I supposed to start impacting people's lives? Where am I supposed to do this? Where am I supposed to do this? So please, guys, where we are, we should be focused. Because when we are focused, you're going to be fine. And when we are fine, we are going to impact people's lives. And we should make sure that we are patient. And as we are patient, as we as we are also patient, we should believe to the CEO. We should believe that our CEO is doing the right thing. And God is going to guide him and we will continue. Thank you, guys. God bless. Amen, indeed. When you are focused, you are fine. Amen, amen. And then in his speech, he repeated it several times. Don't give up. We're not giving up. We, don't, we should not even talk about give up. Why should we even think about give up? We are not. We're not giving up. We are here to stay. As Father says, we are here to stay. On Pacific is here to stay. It's an ideology. That ideology has come to stay. And people are only going to model themselves behind this ideology. You know, he began uh, on Wednesday by thanking us sincerely from the bottom of his heart, thanking us for, for our support, thanking us for our loyalty and our commitment. And I can see that loyalty and commitment in display here with these two ladies who are looking at me. They have joined me, join us here, two ladies on one screen. I think one is from Dallas, the other is in Houston, and they are here. That is what that is what we call commitment and loyalty. So I'm going to give it back to 
uh, uh, either Marcien or Antikili, they are see them uh, sitting together to come. I know uh, Antikili is supposed to be leaving for, for Dallas very shortly, so let me not hold you up. So I will send the microphone to you guys, and uh, you can take it from there. Marcien and Kidi, go in any in any order. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Brother Bob. Thank you, everybody here. I see the smiles on everybody's faces, and it's so encouraging. I listened to um, Mr. Ash on Wednesday, and the truth is I am fired up. Um, there's nothing like having hope. Hope is that thing that we can't see, but you believe in it. And if you don't have hope, there is no point in living. That's my own philosophy about it. Having an ideology like how he put it is giving us the, um, the strength to know that nobody can kill it. Because just like hope, you don't see the ideology, but you know it's there. So we have to keep focused, stay with the plan, follow the process, and believe that something major, something mega is about to happen. And all our hopes, all our um, plans of reaching out for those of us who are already um, involved in philanthropic work, trying to help those that we think need our help, we are ready to take this mantle and just go around the world and do the good that Mr. Ash is um, encouraging us to do. He is Mr. Ash and we had Mother Teresa and I'm gonna call him Father Ash because the dream that he has, which is an, an inspiring all of us now, the world is gonna be taken by storm in just a few months to come. So I'm grateful for this opportunity. We should all stay focused, stay prayerful, and just follow the process. It's happening. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. And Masien, over to you. After Auntie Kidi have said it all, I don't think I have to add something on it. But because I'm here with her, I'm just going to thank her first for visiting in Houston. This is also what you call the family that we are, the unpassive family that we are. And uh, you guys, I don't want to say that uh, we have to focus or we have, we have been focusing and we are fine. And that's why we are doing very great. Because of unpassive, you all see how things are going very well. My sister, Auntie Kidi, I call her my sister today. She's here in Houston. We know each other before, but unpassive have strengthened our relation even more better now. So she came because we have something to do for the people when our times will come. We talk about it. That's what we have to be doing now. If everybody have a plan, a plan for something to do tomorrow, like a philanthropist work, make put it down. Our CEO is working very hard so that that hope and that dream for the people that we are going to help tomorrow is going to be achieved. There's nothing, nothing is going to let us down. This is a must. On passive, it's a must. We don't even have to think about it. It's a must because it was created. It will, it's already happening. The person that God has chosen to bring the ideology in front is someone that will not let us down. He has said it over and over. What he needs now is us, is for us to start looking into all the things that we have been doing and try to see how we will perform it and even make it better. So the whole world, the whole world, not only a tip of people are going to benefit from that. This is what we have to be doing right now. This is what we are doing as Unpassivian, as founder, as the backbone of Mr. Ash Mufar. You know, I say something last time I learned it from uh, I listened it from uh, our great uh, great uh, comedian that's uh, Tara Perry he said some time ago the show in Madea he said there's three kind of people around you in life some of them are trees some of them are like leaf on the tree they come seasonally so when the season came any season they will flourish they will be there those are some friends some of them are like branch when you hang yourself of them, be careful because 
they will let you down. They can fall and they will fall with you. But some of them are at the roof of that tree. Everywhere the storm go, they go with you. And everywhere he bounce, they bounce with you. And I think us as unpassivian, as founder, we're supposed to be that strong roof of the tree of Mr. Aj Mufara because he's there. We are, have to be under him and hold him. Everywhere he goes, we go with him. Everybody he bounce, we bang with him. And we know he's going to be strong and we are going to continue. And the leaf and the branches that will come will come and go, but we are not going anywhere because on passive is not going anywhere. Guys, we are fun. We are focusing, we are fun, and we are going to succeed together. Thank you, Uncle Bob. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I cannot do it to explain that analogy sometime in the future. <laughs> we are we are the we are the root of the tree, she says. To Mr. Ash. So we are with Ash in the day, in the night, all time. Whether the hurricane comes or whatever, tornadoes will stand with him. That's what my son is telling us. We are not the branch or the leaves. The leaves, the leaves come seasonally, they will fall. They will, they will dry out and they fall. The branch, sometimes you hold the branch and the branch breaks and you fall, but the root is always there. And that's how she has likened all of us who are in opposite. And that's why Mr. Ash thanked us the other day, for those of us who've been with him throughout, especially these uncertain times. Thank you, Marcien. And I'm going to call on my brother, uh, Collins. I don't know if Collins uh, is available to talk to us now. My brother, Collins, I don't know where to start with you. I know you are very dynamic. You can take it from anywhere. So I'm going to open it up to you to just come and pour your heart out to us this Sunday afternoon. Thank you, Collins. Uh, th thank you, Bob. Just want to thank Mike Ellis for being in here. And today is a beautiful Sunday. Thank Marcien and, you know, and I was a great sister. And all those who have spoken gifty spoke well. You know, my brother Oliver and Andy. So where can I start after all these great leaders have spoken? Where can I really start? You know, today there was something I was just thinking about. You know, I went to church today, and after the sermon, there's a lot of things that were just, you know, coming through my mind. And the first thing that came through my mind was listening, understanding, trust, and believe. You listen. After you listen, do you really understand what is going on? And after you've understand, do you really trust on what you've heard, and do you really believe in what you are hearing? This is exactly on passive. You know, that's what I was, the message that was really hitting me in my heart. And I was thinking about on passive and the many founders, millions of founders across the globe. Because there is a saying today, I spoke with Oliver, we were talking, I said, until you hit the, the head, the shepherd, all the sheep will run away. When O Connect disappeared, what happened? Most of the founders, they were just like leaf shaking. It was like a sheep without shepherd. You know, they were just afraid. And our Bible always said, do not be afraid. Why are you afraid? And if you are afraid, what have you really lost? I, I always go back to Michael Williams. Michael Williams said, if you want to do something, any business, sacrifice what you think will never affect your life. Because when I look at what I put into Unpassive, it will not make me poor if Unpassive is not there. I will not make me rich if Unpassive is even there. But what I've put, if Unpassive, you know, work out according to plan, which we know it will work, well, I will be one of the richest person and all of us, all the founders. So why are you afraid if things are happening and things can come in and disappear? This is technology. So the thing was about, are we really listening? Especially when you look at this, who do we listen to? That's one of the things. When we listen, who do we listen to? Are we listening to ourselves, founders, or are we listening to the person who owned the business, Mr. Ash Mufara? When I came in to Unpassive, the person who introduced me, like the woman in the world when he met Jesus. Sorry that I'm coming back to Bible because maybe it will help us to understand Unpassive. When the woman went and explained everything, what Jesus had told uh, the people, the multitude, they rushed to Jesus. When they came by, what did they tell, tell the woman? Now we believe not because you have told us. We believe because we've heard from the master himself. That is the truth. 
We believe because we've heard from the masters, not from what your own countenance. We now we are looking up to the person whom have told you what you have done, who reveal a lot of things. Who do we really listen to? Do we listen to ourselves because somebody brought you in and the person can walk and tell you on passive is not doing what is said by friendly? It means you don't even have a sense of judgment to look at it and understand that where I am today is right or wrong. You know, you listen to employees, you listen to founders, we follow founders, we go and we subscribe to webinars or YouTube channels or Facebook channel that will not heal anything in your life. Like last time I said, Mr. Ash Bofara is the final say. God is the ultimate because he blesses on passive. Mr. Ash Bofara has a say to say, today there is no on passive. Not you, not me, not any employee in on passive can shut it down. Mr. Ash Bofara is the one who can say, you know what, I'm done today. It is over. And we said, my God. But when we sit, who do we listen to? He stand up and said, follow me. He is there every day coming to us. And sometimes we are like leaves. When the wind blows, we panic. We think like the well is crumbling. You know, the well is against us. The well is against you, not against me. Because I believe in what I'm seeing and what I've heard from the CEO. Until the CEO will come out and tell me it is over. That is when I will turn around. And I will tell the others, go and listen to the CEO, not me. The CEO said it is over. You know, please, my own is about listening, understand what the CEO is saying. Trust in his judgment. He is the owner of this business on passive. None of us ever created on passive. He created on passive. The Mufara family created on passive. He believed in his vision and he said, I will never give up. He can decide to say, you know what, founders, this is over. I'll give all your money back and become the world richest man. We know what technology is. We know how much technology is making. We know those who own the business are making. How many of us have seen Microsoft employees? None. How many of us have seen Tesla, Elon Musk employees? None. But when they produce product, those who are building the product, they don't write their name on it. They come and they say Microsoft product, Tesla product, Elon Musk. The name is not going by those who develop it. The name is going through the owners. The owner's name is the name that is written on that product. And so shall it be with Unpassive. Mr. Ash Mofara can do whatever he thinks is necessary for the business and what he thinks is about the founders. He himself said, you know what? Myself and my family, we don't need it. We are fine. What we want to do is about humanity. So what are we really afraid? Who do we listen to? Who do we believe in? And who do we trust? This is a question for all the founders. Those who go out and they listen. To, today I've received a lot of messages and I don't want to say it out there and I'll, I'll share some of them. You see, people will respect in on passive. People will look up to them as leaders going out writing rubbish. And they scare the founders. Please don't listen to me. Listen to Mr. Ash Mofara. I don't want you to follow. I came into on passive to change my own life and change my family and those around me. Everyone came to Ampassi for a mission and a purpose. Please, we should look up to the person who owns the business, not to those who are disgruntled and they don't have anything to say. You go and you give them your views and your time. I don't listen to negativity. I always say don't bring negative energy around me because I don't accept it. Most of them I delete it without even listening because I will not give them my view for them to go and monetize. We give them our views, they go and monetize. That's why they are making a lot of videos because they know you will come and watch. The day we stop watching that videos, you know what? They will shut it down because of, there is no money coming. We know the internet space. We know the internet space very well. And that's why we're advising the founders, stop giving your time to something that is worthless. Who do you listen to? That's the message. 
You don't listen to losers, those who cannot give you an alternative. Before you tell me on passive is not right, show me an alternative. Let's talk about it. Don't tell me it is not right and you don't have an alternative. So please, this is the message today. Who do we listen to? Do we really understand the message? Do we know the owner of Unpassive? Do we really trust in his judgment? And if you don't have all of this, please quit Unpassive. Unpassive is not for you. You can go and do what you are doing. God bless you. That's the only thing we can tell you. God bless you in your endeavor. But quit Unpassive. We don't want negativity. Bravo, over to you. Take it. Thank you, thank you, my brother Collins. That was uh, that was very deep, and I think the message is clear. You know, um, who do you listen to? Indeed, who do you listen to? I wouldn't go out there and Mister Ash. I think he told us himself. Follow, listen to someone that you you respect, you admire, you love, you respect, and the message resonates with you. If you listen to someone and the is, is the message does not resonate with you, why do you you are giving them money like 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 Collins said and understand your message and. We trust in our eyes. On passive right now is about trust and loyalty. We are here because we trust Mr. Ash Mufare. We see this vision. We know where we are. You are plugged in. You are connected. First of all, you, you have to be connected to understand where we are. And that's why all of us are here this, this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you, Brother Collins. That was very spirited. And I hope the message has, has gone through. Um, let us stay focused. There's one direction. There's one man leading us and his, his eye is at the ball like a laser. He's not going to move. He's not going to go. You, nothing is going to sway him left or right. That's where we should That's where we should focus our attention. Thank you very much. And I'm going to call on our sister, um, Sister Com uh, Comfort. Sister Comfort, uh, I'm sure uh, <laughs> I haven't heard what uh, what has gone transpired so far. You, you probably have uh, something interesting to enlighten us on what you've heard the past 360 or anything inspiring that you can just continue to impart upon us. Over to you, Sister Comfort. She here? I thought I saw her. I saw her earlier, but I don't okay. see her now. All right. Yeah, I I was on white screen, so I could not see. I just I assumed that she was here. But uh, I see my brother Vincent is looking at me very, very directly. So uh, I caught his eyesight. So <laughs> you're going to step in for, for comfort. And then I think I see John Mark from Cameroon. John, welcome. So you're going to come next so that uh, we take advantage of our network and then we'll go around to the other folks. So uh, uh, Vincent, please, over to you. Oh, thank you, uh, Brother Bob. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone in this panel and those of us who are listening to us today. Happy Sunday to all today. And thanks also to all the speakers, these wonderful leaders. They said very wonderful stuff. So I can't say everything, but where I know, thank you all, because you, what, that was a great message today. Very powerful one. So my message also, I'll follow all these great speakers because what they said is powerful and wonderful. So I will go by trying to add also a bit of what they said. So what I would say, you know, a few weeks ago, I know Mr. Ash, when he came back, he said on passive is here to stay. You all remember that. So this is a great thing. And then later again, he came, he said on passive is ideology. So always keep adding. Then Wednesday, when he came, he said, impassive is 90% done. So we are nearly to the finish line. So every week when Mr. Ash is here, he reassures us different statement, different way and what direction that he's doing. We are aware of everything. And then every step Mr. Ash is taking, he keep telling us, and so we are aware of everything is being, every movement is going through. So the company is going forward. We are going forward. So we are not going backward because he keeps saying this. So every single step we are moving to Mr. Ash will tell us. So what struck me again, Mr. Ash said, I know I know most of people 
speakers today, they said it again. We should follow him. Is the direction that we should follow. So like my sister, Nifty said, the captain in the boat. We should follow the captain. There's no two, two captains in a boat. A boat have a one single captain. In whatever passengers they are in, they have only one single captain. It's the same thing like on passive. Whatever your intelligence or your knowledge or your wisdom, Mr. Ash is the leader, is the only captain in this boat. So we should follow him. What Mr. Ash said, that's what we should do. Not what I'm saying, but what Mr. Ash said, this is what we should do. We should not listen to some people sitting outside there. They don't know exactly what is going on. They just come in to say some wrong thing, like my brother Collins was saying earlier. If they are saying so many wrong things, so we should not listen to them. So the person we should listen is Mr. Ash. Mr. Ash Mufara is the only and only leader of Unpassive. This is the, the, the guide, our guide, the captain of the boat. So this is the man that we should listen. No, these people who are coming and say some rubbish. So every week, it keep us updates of what is going on on Unpassive. So we are well informed. So there's no need, there's no point to go to outside Mr. Ash and listen to these people. So our hope, what we should do today, we should listen to him. We should try to get what Mr. Ash is saying. If you don't understand what Mr. Ash said, go back to the video, listen again, and try to understand. If you listen maybe twice and then you don't get it, you can listen, listen, listen. But I listen many times, you will get it. So after the, the webinar, I'm most of the time I'm there. But after that, I'll go to the uh, video again and listen. I said, oh, at this point, I didn't get it. I'll go to it and listen again. And then if you know someone that may be okay, this point, I didn't get it. I can go to Bob or refer to Bob or call and say, this part of what Mr. I said, I didn't get it. Can you explain better to me? It can happen. But it doesn't mean that we are listening to Bob. You can do that and then get uh, your mind refreshed and then understand exactly, fully understand what our leader said, because it's very important. Some people, when Mr. I say something, they don't understand. And then they go and, and, and do something wrong. They don't interpret it very well, what, exactly what he said. They will say something else. So please, guys, listen. If you don't understand, go to it again. You can go to it many times you want. Maybe uh, through the, the week, you finish Wednesday. You can go Thursday, Friday to Sunday. Bow means you will understand 90% or 80% at the least of the message that Mr. Ash trying to tell us. So it's very important that we all listen to him. So there's one uh, American um, multi speaker, motivator speaker, he said, the bad news is time flies. And also he said, the good news is you are the pilot. The good news is that you are the pilot. So you should understand what is better for you, what is good for you. So you should not do the wrong thing. So if you are doing the wrong thing, it's your own hand. It's not Mr. Ash hand. Because Mr. Ash gives us the direction. This is how we should do, what we should do. And then we should follow him. And then if you leave all this, what Mr. Ash saying, and then you are doing, you're going to wrong direction, you should them how to blame anyone. You have to blame yourself. Because you have to follow him and go to the right direction. If you go to the wrong direction, it's, it's your fault. Because you don't listen. You are not a good listener. Because you should be a good listener to understand fully exactly what the, the, our captain is saying. Is the captain, whatever you like or not, is the captain. And then is the leading us. So you don't say, oh, I like our leader Vincent, or I like him. Uh, Mr. Ash is the leader, is the founder of Unpassing. So everything we are doing, we should go refer to him. It's like our reference. When you go to church, your reference the Bible. So it's our reference. When you go to mosque, you have uh, the Quran is your reference. So always refer to him. Anything you're doing on passive, refer to him. Everything you are saying outside there, listen to what our leader is saying. This is how, this is the best way that we can move forward because I believe and then I trust this is actually doing a great job. We are nearly to the finish line. So please guys, stay close to him, what he's saying, listen to him. And then because he's not hiding anything from us. Every week is here. Last week, Sunday, it was here. For those of us who are not here, it was here with us. It was open to us. So it, there's nothing wrong. He's doing the right thing. If he's doing the wrong thing, 
It was not, it's not supposed to be here, but it was here. Even it was in 360, it was here. And then it appeared many area in the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then to mm -hmm. speak, to tell us mm -hmm. what is going on. So what else we need again? Anything you don't understand, you can clarify and then explain to us. So we too, we can go around and explain to people that this is what is going on. This is the direction that Mr. Ash wants us to go. And then this is the right direction that he's doing because he's not hiding anything from us. It's the clarity is there and then show to us the right way to do. So please guys, follow Mr. Ash. Listen, this is the only captain I know. We should listen to him and then we'll go forward. Thank you guys. Amen, amen, my brother uh, uh, Vincent. Thank you. It says that we are we are nearing the finish line, and we should stay close to to, to Mr. Ash. Those are, I thought those were very powerful. It says that time flies. He, he gave us a quote: "Time flies, but you are the pilot, so your destiny is in your own hands." That's what uh, my brother Vincent is telling us: the destiny is in your own hands. You go follow the the, the, the follow the the right information. Follow take the right channel, and according to our, as as far as we are concerned. The only place that will get the right the right source of information and direction is from our founder, Mr. Ash. Thank you, my brother uh, Vincent. That was well said. And we'll go to Cameroon where uh, John Markefoy is waiting patiently. John, please, I'm calling you because I know you have network uh, issues every now and then. So please, just come on down and give us your take on what uh, you heard in th either in 360 or anything inspiring you want to share with us. Over to you, John. Uh, thank you. Thank you, uh, brother Bob. Uh... I think I feel fine. I feel uh, great because if we didn't have this test, we will not really know who is on the real, the real on Passivia. Because it's always good to have trial moments like this for us to be able to make an assessment of those who came in and actually believe in, in, the, in the business. And if you look at the attendance of webinars, you actually be, you can be able to establish a list of the real founders who came into on Passive. And uh, I would like to say that for anything that you do, you see, if it's an argument, you are involving yourself in a business, you want to have a scheme in a game, anything that you do, you should first of all listen to yourself. If you are doubting and going around looking at people who don't even understand on passing and listening to them, it means that before you, you remove $97 to put into on passive, you didn't listen to yourself. So if I'm here, I'm not even thinking about all of what people are saying that I, I'm not, it's not even in my mind. So I listen to myself before uh, getting into unpassive. Now, when you get, when, 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 I want to take, I want to situate what I've just said. I am in Cameroon and I want to take an example from Cameroon to say that. I don't have any opportunity or any other person in Cameroon or any other person much across Africa than remaining on passive and believing in it and waiting. Because if there is an investment opportunity in Cameroon with the magnitude or the potential of on passive, even one 100 of the potential of on passive, I will not even know. Most of us who are here will not even know. Only those who are well connected and their friends will know about it and then have their skin in the game. So if I have an opportunity to have a skin in the game, I should not even be doubting. If I look around, let me give you an example. In 2000, the city, my city, Bamenda, the city council advertised uh, market stores, sheds for people to, to advance. So I paid, I made a deposit of 250,000. That's about um, four, four accounts in non-passive. Mm -hmm. About four accounts in non-passive. I made that deposit. And finally, I didn't have the money, I didn't have the shape, and nobody was ready to give me an account of it. I wrote letters to the media, read them. The city council may even got angry, and they didn't, they didn't give me. So that's what I'm saying, that anybody who is in Cameroon, anybody who is in much of Africa, should not even be doubting and thinking that, if that is there any other, I think other leaders have asked the question, do you have any other alternative? I don't have any other alternative in Cameroon. No other person in Cameroon has an alternative. If you have it, tell me. If you, if they have the opportunity, most in, in Cameroon and many other places, if they have the opportunity to squeeze taxes out of you, 
you cannot even have even if uh, you had the luck to be aware that there was there was something like an investment opportunity in Cameroon or any African country, it would not be ninety-seven dollars. If you know about it, it would not be ninety-seven dollars, and nobody will even come to explain anything to you. So we don't have any other choice. I don't have, and I believe that many of those listening to me do not have that. Do not have any choice. We have. A guy, we have a guy, a gentleman of noble character. He comes, he explains to us what is going on. Give me the time. I had long said to myself, and he said it publicly, that I should take the amount of time you want to take. And when it is ready, you tell us. While we are busy with ourselves, we can be shining the light on this, shining the light on that, and doing other things to show that we really believe in this project. If we come every day talking about the fact that we should believe in us, it means that we're not be sure about ourselves. I am sure about myself, and we should focus on doing certain things that will be very helpful to us. So I want to thank you for giving me this opportunity and urge us to do other things that will show that we actually believe in the project. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, wow. colleagues. Thank you, Vincent, and all the others who spoke. Well said. Well said, my brother. But what I really got from you, um, you asked us to listen into ourselves. Listen to yourself, you said. You know, listen to yourself. Like that thing that made you to join on past your inner self and forget about the noise of the masses. Listen to your inner self. That thing inside you that tells you that something better is coming. And it is true. You know what John is saying in Cameroon, if there was another opportunity, they wouldn't even know. Or those who know it would hide it away from them. So here is a, it's a manner from heaven that has come to all of us. Thank you very much, my brother John. Good to see you again. Uh, we'll go to Bangladesh. Let's talk to Ms. Eva Dias. Eva, thank you for being uh, patiently. I know it's late over there in Bangladesh, but uh, we are glad to have you. So the floor is yours now. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Uh, it's pretty late here, yeah. But it's always uh, a blessing, I would say, to be with their own passive family out here. And I've always um i'm not a speaker that's for sure but uh, uh in spite of everyone saying so many things you know i i would say that uh, a little bits and pieces of whatever <clears throat> i picked up from uh, what mr ash mufara was saying uh, on 360 last week <clears throat> i i one word really touched me do not listen to negative uh, one negative thought can take you back 48 hours so that 48 hours how much are we losing we are losing a lot so we if we start thinking negatively where are we going we are cutting ourselves away from everyone and everything not only that we are also instilling negative thoughts on people around us, which is not right. I mean, uh, there are, uh, there's a saying out here that, um, you know, a human being comes with, uh, to, uh, there are two uh, types of human beings that come in. One comes in with the scissors and one comes with a needle and thread. What are we? Are we the scissors? Are we the needle and thread? Do we, you know, keep everyone attached to us, sewed to us, and keep us all together, or do we cut ourselves away and the rest of the people? So we are. I consider myself that we are definitely ashes soldiers out here. We represent ash, no matter what. We will, he said, do or die. If he can do or die, I'm sure we can stand beside him for that fight. Whatever the case may be, we are there. And our loyalty belongs to him, not to anybody. Like uh, our brother Colin said, don't listen to anybody. Don't listen to leaders. Why do you want to listen to anyone? When you're getting directly from uh, Mr. Mufara everything what you need to know, listen to him and continue your journey. 
and this journey has been uh, has given us so much our motivation comes from him he is he is definitely our motivator and everything for us so i would like to say that yes we are focused very much focused if we weren't fo um, at all focused we none of us would have been here today we wouldn't have kept ourselves plugged in so thank you very much for listening and i'll give it back to you brother bob thank you thank, thank you eva thank you thank you for joining us thank you for staying up late please come often please come often and I will send it to another lovely lady, Miss Mino Mila. I can see her just looking at me. So Mino, why not? Come on down, yes. Mino. Yes, thank you. So uh, what I remember mostly, uh, the most outstanding thing I remember Mr. Ash said last week that showing up is the major part of this. Showing your support, staying engaged with webinars, learn from credible sources. This is um and um this is a business of people. That's why on passive is not gonna go anywhere but stay here. It's about human spirit and boundless opportunities for humanity. Um this journey is about exposing diamond talents. On a daily basis, we learn about fellow affiliates and we learn how everybody has their heart in this business. We just learned about Pastor Jerry, which Jerry of uh, Otoyo, if I'm saying it correctly, and I would love, love, love to quote him that he said, on passive will always come out of my mouth because that's what I believe. It's a divine project. And that's beautiful to get to see those people come from international to the platform. And it creates a strong bond between, uh, between us and we value that. So it's a one of a kind experience with Unpassive that we have. We're blessed to be part of it. A moment in time that will never happen. So stay engaged, have a positive mindset, and stay connected. Thank you. Thank you, Mino. Thank you, thank you. That was well said. And I'm going to call on our sister, Jocelyn. Sister Jocelyn, I see, I saw your camera open. I assume you're ready to talk to us. Please come on down. Give us your own uh -huh. insight. What, anything that, uh, that inspired Hello, you everyone. Or... Yes. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'll wrap up. No, after listening to our great leaders, um, brother Mike Ellis, thank you. That was powerful. And our brothers, um, and our sister Gifty, everything they said, all I have to say is like our brother Oliver always said, we are fine. I was listening to brother John from Cameroon. He said something that really touched my heart. You know, some of us had invested our money in so-called businesses that collapsed along the side and we didn't have any explanation. We didn't get our money back. A very heartbroken. But this is unpassive. This is a CEO that always come out to let us know where we are, what is happening. This is, in fact, this is the most uh, greatest business I've ever, ever get myself involved with. So if you are a founder and you still don't believe that unpassive is unpassive and you don't know what is happening, you don't, you don't go to webinars, you don't listen to our CEO. Our CEO comes out almost every week to let us know what is happening. Please get yourself involved. Listen to our CEO, like our brother Colin said, listen to your CEO. Whatever he come out to say is what is happening right now. We have come too far. Where we are right now, it's like you are running towards a river and you, you, you just got just a couple of you know, food to move to get into that water. That's what, how far we are now. Like our brother said, we are fine. So please, please stop asking questions. When are we going to get there? What is happening? I just seen a, a, a message as Facebook right now. Sister Comfort replied that person very well. You know, if you don't believe in, why are you a founder? Get yourself out. It's, it's not too late for it. The, are we that we believe we are still here, we are waiting. 
So if you don't have that kind of patience and you, you don't want to wait, just, just get yourself out. It's free of charge. Nobody is going to charge you to for you getting yourself out of home passive. That's what I have to say. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Jocelyn. You are running to the river of life. You have been running for almost four years to the river of life. You are almost a few feet away from the river and you, you don't want, you want to give up. That's what it is. That's what she's trying to say. You just have to hang in there, jump to the river and, and live your life forever. I'm going to call on Lady Patricia Parent. I've seen her. I know she definitely will have something to contribute to us today uh, based on what Mr. Ash said uh, or anything inspiring. Pat, over to you, please. Thank you, Brother Bob. I am grateful, thankful, and blessed here and honored to be able to speak today. Um, Mr. Ash said to follow him. He trusts no one, but I know he trusts God. So I want to read this from Hebrews 10, because I really believe it's what we need to all hear. Show me more, it's called. Let us draw near to God with sincere heart and with the full assurance that faith brings, having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold unswervingly to hope of, of profess. Sorry, excuse me. For he who promised is faithful. You know, when I read that, I think of Mr. Ash Mavara, always. And I always bring God because he leads me first. And when you trust God and he trusts you to share the word, you're going to share the promised land of everything that you're in. So when on passive, Mr. Ash Mafara brings us something we need to trust, believe, because it is a divine opportunity that we have all been given, each and every one of us. So, Mr. Ash, we stand behind you, but I also want to say the five steps um, to a good harvest is listening to our CEO saying only his words, believe in the words he speaks, because he speaks truth, honesty from his heart, because we are AI with heart. And like uh, Marcina said, um, the root. But you know what, Mr. Ash planted that seed before that root could even start. So when he puts the on passive into the ground to start it, that's when the roots start it. And that's when each and every one of us which had the opportunity to join, no matter what time it was, what time frame, where you were, he gave us that root to start, to be unique, to be who you are, but to trust, to have the faith that we stand behind him and to only listen to what he says. You know, there's lots of things that people have said and done. We let that negative go always because I read a thing somewhere. I'm not sure who it was. I can't quote it. They said it takes 20 positive things to hear to one negative. So, when Mr. Ash said it takes 48 hours, you know, it could take a lot longer to hear those 20 positive things, to change that one negative thing that you might have said or someone said to you. Because even if it's said to you, your mind still retains it. Mm -hmm. So I just push it aside and I let God lead me each and every day. And when he says, show me more, Mr. Ash, Bring it on. Show me more. Because your faith is so strong in everything you do. We have technology be that's beyond seeing. Do I know everything about technology? No. I have to ask the OTEC pros. I have to listen to them. 
because they have guided me personally by listening to understand what I can do with technology. I have learned so much from each and every one of them. Engineer Mike, I've learned from Chris and Marty. Just listen to the inspiration. We are all here to inspire everyone, not to motivate you, because motivation comes from within inside. If you haven't got the motivation to stand up for who you are and what you believe in, I don't know. But inspiration, encouragement leads me every day. And as I read personally, God's word, and when he showed me today on August 11th, show me more. Wow, this was perfect for today. Show me more. Show me more of your faith, your trust, your belief in our CEO, Mr. Ash Mafara. Don't bring me negative because I don't want it. And I'm going to be away for a while. Like I said on Marty and Chris's live, so I wanted to let this out to you guys too, that I will be listening. I will be in the chats as much as possible. I will be everywhere as much as possible. I just won't be able to speak, but that's okay. That's why I'm here today to share my heart, my love, my trust, my faith, my goals, my impact, passion for on passive, because it has led me to all over the world. When you get led by something all over the world to a family that trusts and believes, you'll never go wrong. You'll never go wrong. Don't look back. Keep moving forward. And someone said something about hope. Well, you know what? Hope is me because I live by hope because hope is the future. I don't want to give up on hope because the future is bright. But when you trust and believe, you'll never go wrong. Never. Because my Lord will lead me each and every day. And Mr. Ash Mafara, you are a remarkable steward from the Lord. God bless you and your family and many, many more successful meetings coming. And we are in it to win it. We are on passive pioneers. Remember that. Pioneers, because it'll never go away. You can only make the wrong choice by not following Mr. Ash Mafara. It's true vision, mission, and passion. And heart. Every speck of his heart. Because that's what we are. AI with heart and every speck of it. God bless you. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity, Bob. I love you all. Of course, of course. Love you too. Love you too, Pat. Thank you so much. Thank you for, for coming. This is what you said. You said you wrote here. Hebrews, show me more with sincere hearts. And you ask us to have faith in our founder, Mr. Ash Mufara. I want you to know that, Pat, whatever reason why you're not going to be uh, coming on live or speak to us, all 1.4 million founders of us, we are with you in spirit. Know that we are with you. We are one family. Thank you so much for coming today. I'm going to call on uh, Engineer Mike. I think I, I saw Engineer Mike. Engineer Mike is here. And if you are here and you want to speak, I, I, I know I see some people, but I'm not sure if they would love to speak. If you want to speak, please just raise your hand up. If you want to speak, okay, good. I, okay, Ashok, Ashok, I'll call you next. Um, I think I see there was some, there is a Sangarita. I don't know if she wants to speak, but Engineer Mike, you can go now and then uh, Ashok will go after you. Thank you. Hello. Uncle Bob, thank you. Thank you. Great leaders. Um, great. It's a great day. We're having the conversation. It's going great. And I will want to, to spoil it. I can see all the beautiful ladies have said a lot. Our big brother will tell us we are fine all the time. I heard from our brother Collins. I heard from our brother Vincent. I just came in when Vincent was speaking. Thank you, bro. Um, what we have now, I will go by, by the analogy that our CEO gave to us. He said, if you are... <laughs> In the journey, that one was the one that really struck me. Are you going somewhere, driving and going? So something happened like you, like you're out of your gas. 
Now, in the middle of that journey, will you decide to come back 90% or 98% or 99%, whatever percentage that you've gone above 90? Or will you struggle to might be improvise to get to the 10 left journey or you will just sit there and you do nothing. So I am standing with him to say that I will look for any means to be able to fuel my car to complete that 10%. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> if it is coming in 10 years, 50 years, it doesn't matter. But I want to go through to that promised land. I want to reach that 100%. So Uncle Bob, to me, I would just say, again, are we ready for that 10%? That's my question. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, I agree with you, man. You have already 90% gone. Do you want to turn back? No, you, let's all put our hands together. We'll fight and finish that. Then people have to walk and crawl. We crawl to get to the to the, to the remaining 10%. Thank you for reminding us on that. And with that, I'm going to call on Ashok. Uh, Ashok, yeah, unmute yourself and please uh, tell us hello. what... Yes, hello, sir. Hello, hello. Can... Hello, Bob yes, Sakusha and Colin Mana. Good evening. Good evening, um, sir. Happy, su happy Sunday to you. Happy Sunday. Um, I'm, I'm Ashok Shanvi from India, uh, Maharashtra, and near to uh, staying near to Niraj Dalvi, Niraj Dalvi, uh, Thane. Uh, okay. I am myself, uh, I am a founder member of Ampasu, and I'm very proud of be uh, proud to be a founder member. Uh, since the day I become a founder member, I have been imagining that all the founders and new users on, on passive in this world are the users who can become in the future are uh, all on the shore of the bottomless ocean called on passive. On passive, this ocean is created by Asa and he tells everyone in the world to take what are like once your strength in the ocean and remember that one drop of the ocean is equal to one dollar <laughs> so i am eternally grateful to ask our uh, pastor to giving me a privilege of being a father member and creating amazing incredible words by Ashton professor so thank you very much for giving me chance to talk on this platform and thank you very much, uh, Bob. And uh, uh, thank you very much. I will be always in for, uh, for a passive for my lifetime. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very much. Thank you, Ashok. <laughs> and thank you for staying late to join us. Please come again. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Um, let's see. Uh, Bob Gary is here. Jerry. Oh. Who? No, I see. Oh, 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 Pastor Jerry. Okay, okay. Yes. I see Pastor Jerry and says, okay. So we'll start with Pastor Jerry. Pastor Jerry, you lit, lit us up on fire last week. We were all going crazy, looking for you all over the place. And then you disappeared. But I heard you had network connection. So uh, please uh, come on down and just uh, give us a little bit of what you heard this week from Mr. Ash or anything inspiring again. We'll, we'll be glad to have you always. Well, Bob, thank you so much for this opportunity. And um, I want to say that I'm so grateful, so happy to be a part of this great program. I also want to appreciate um, Colin Smana. The, I mean, because on that Sunday last week, he was trying to reach out to me, but uh, my network was not allowing me to come back. I tried everything I could. If you were on the, um, the YouTube channel, you would have seen that I dropped a message. The small network I could have, I dropped a message on the YouTube channel. I could see um, Ash Mufare on that YouTube channel, but I couldn't hear him. So every effort I tried that Sunday couldn't work. That is the challenge we are going through in Africa. And I'm also believing that... Um, with unpassive coming, we are going to overcome. 
all those challenges. That is one of my faith because as a matter of fact, on Monday, I was traveling to the Northern Ghana. So I listened to the YouTube video while I was on the way to the North. And um, I was also communicating with, with Collins Manor along the way while I was traveling. I told him that I was um, going to the Northern Borgatanga area in the, one of the village there called Kandika. And when I get there, I will be able to join the meetings from there. But um, on getting there, I couldn't even have network. I could not access my WhatsApp. So I have to return back to, at least I'm in the middle belt of Ghana, Techima to be precise. So that is the challenge. And I'm praying and believing God that Unpassive will come and eradicate all these challenges for us so that we can also advance in, in, in life, in everything that the West are enjoying. But interestingly, most of the things that the West are enjoying, the source, the raw materials are from here. And then we are the ones suffering. And so these are some of the things that I believe that God is raising a man like Hash Mufarad to put things in place so that there wouldn't be any kind of um, discrimination when it comes to um, uh, distribution of wealth. And so that is one of the things that put me down with Unpassive. I'm so much, um, I, I mean, Unpassive is all about me because I believe that when Unpassive comes to full stream, something is going to happen to humanity. And that is one of the things is longevity of life. People would desire to live long because when you see suffering, I mean, some of our brethren like you in the Western world um, doesn't really know what we're going through here. And I am seeing God raising me in, uh, I mean, from a very low background and making me to go through several things. I, I enjoy living in the villages, working with the poor, because I see myself um, having a kind of a life that flows with them. And as God is also raising me to a place of prominence, it's for me to return back to those people, to be able to help them, to raise them up, to also know that there is light that is shining in other parts of the world. You cannot imagine that in just 10 years ago, I traveled to a part of um, Ghana, in the northern Ghana, and then um, one of the things I experienced was that I traveled like 36 kilometers on a motorbike into that community. And on getting to that community, I realized that they have not even seen Ghanaian currency in today's wow. Ghana. And how were they trading? Trading by butter in Ghana. And so there was no school for children to attend. So if children want to attend school, they moved that 36 kilometers into um, the neighboring town where there was a school there before, and then they will go back. These were the challenges. So while we were going, I keep seeing children on bicycle. They were coming to the, uh, the neighboring town to have access to education. And so these are some of the challenges we are going through. And so I believe that the things that people are going through in Africa, in, in the uh, third world countries, even give them desire to leave the earth early. And so whatever you, you desire, you get it because the suffering becomes too much. And so you wish that you go and rest. And, but if on passive comes and you see life getting better, people would desire to live long. So the um, passive is actually coming to um, give longevity to life that we are living. Um, passive is also like we all know and we speak and we say as a slogan that it is the correction to corruption. Uh, I, we see a lot of them here. And so these are the things that we are coming to eradicate, to eradicate poverty, to end wars, and to um, make sure that we bring, not to bring down criminality and robbery, we end it 
And these are some of the things because I believe what made people carry on to go and stand by the road and shoot other people to rob them and take their belongings because of poverty. Because if they have enough to take care of themselves and their families, they will not carry on and risk their lives because even to go and steal is risked against their lives. But they do it because the economy has put them in that dimension. And so these are some of the things I believe that um, Unpassive will come in and correct. And I'm so passionate about this movement. And I don't even call it movement because I see Unpassive as an era. Because once Unpassive comes, every other thing will bow. You know, whatever is going on in the system, in the world today, when Unpassive comes, they will start learning. Because some person will be like a university that will teach them how to do the right thing. And so once that happens, the world will change. It's going to be a new world because if you do not follow the ways of the unpassive, your business will start going down. And any government that doesn't want to hook up to unpassive to allow the products of unpassive to guide them, there will be the most corrupt government and their people will rise up against them until they buy into the products that Unpassive produces, the people of that country will not allow them to govern them. That is one of the things I see because Unpassive is big. And that is why um, when I hear someone like Hash Mufara calling my name several times on Sunday, uh, it was like, I, I mean, am I the one? Because I know where I came from. And if a man like um, Hash Mufara could see something in me when we've never communicated, I've never tried to reach out to him before because I know what kind of um, work that he has at hand. And so, but for him to come on that um, hero web banner on Sunday and focus on searching for me, I feel like, no, no matter where you come from, on passive, have you at heart. If he could help me at heart, on passive, have everybody at heart. God bless yes, you. And that is what I can say for today. Wow. Wow, 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 Pastor Jerry. Wow, wow, wow. I'm glad you came back to us. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you also have co uh, contact with Colin. So we'll, we'll keep in touch. Thank you so much for taking the time. I mean, we need a whole webinar, a whole Sunday webinar just to talk to you. So I know we don't have enough time, but thank you very much, you know. You said a few things I'm going to just highlight. You said unpassive is going to give longevity to life. And you made reference to something that has just broken my heart into pieces. That people are yearning to die to go rest. That is insane. We have to really, really hope that once everybody starts getting what unpassive is giving to us, we have to go out there and pay it forward sincerely. Yes, Mr. Ash has said that there's going to be a time. There's going to be a time where they're going to look back. There's going to be a well before and a well after on passive. It's just about time. People are going to look and say, hey, five years ago and now, vast difference when on passive comes. That's going to happen. Let's go to our brother in Germany. Uh, Serge, Serge, thank you for joining us uh, from Germany. <clears throat> Hello? Yes, Serge. Okay, okay. Um... Hello everyone, nice to, to be here today. I don't have a lot to say. Um, just say that uh, On Passive is our feature. We believe in it and we love Ash and uh, On Passive. We are going to support all action from Ash and uh, we are ready to follow his uh, instruction. I will not say more than that and I love you all. Thank you. Thank you, Serge. We love you too. Same to you, brother. Thank you for coming. I see my sister Ivy Mix is in the house and there is a lady. Let me try to call her name. I don't know if she wants to speak. Your camera is open, Bishop uh, Chris, Chris, Christabel. I see your camera open, but I'm not sure if you would love to speak. Did you want to say a word or two? If you would love to, please open your, open your microphone and talk to us. Anything of inspiration? Any words that you heard from Mr. Ash on 360, we would love to hear any contribution, anything that you want to inspire us with. Hello, and then God we'll go to, to Ivy Mix. Yes. Yeah, God bless you all. Yeah, we thank God for such a wonderful day. 
And we thank God for the life of Mr. Ash Mufara and the entire family, because he's the one that will bring all of us together. When I look at Unpassive, I don't see it as a business. I see Unpassive as divine, orchestrated by God, bringing people from all angles together. That is why we call Unpassive as a global family. So even if Unpassive did not go as we want it, we are so connected to people that we have never ever dreamt of connecting to them. So my request this evening is, I believe there's a lot of believers here and we thank God that our CEO is a believer too because I've been listening to him since day one that I joined the Unpassive. He always mentioned God. And anything that you start with God will never go wrong unless you are doing otherwise. This man said, unless God stops me, Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And he also said, I would do it or die. For someone to make such a profound statement, it means he's as sure of where he's leading the people to. And another thing that he said that caused me to come to the platform today to open my camera was, I've taken charge. If you are visionary, there will come a point in time that you have to take charge. I can use my own experience in ministry. You entrust some activities in people's hand and they want to override you because they think they know better than you. They will bring ideas that is not in alignment with where you are going. They will not do it at the very beginning when you are bringing the ideas. They will wait when the thing is you know, flourishing when people are getting understanding of your vision, then they will come in with their demonic influence. And when they do that, it's up to you to pause and put your feet down. They will call you all sorts of names. They will, spoil you. they will try to spoil your name. But you who have your vision, you will not bother it because you are sure of what your vision is. And because you are doing the right thing. God will bring the good people to connect with the vision that you carry them along. Because it's not all, everybody that we started with will go with us. I can use United Kingdom as example, those that take bus. When you go to bus stop, one bus stop, one stand, you have a lot of different buses, bus numbers, bus 50, bus 150, bus 12 and all that. Many people are standing in the same bus stop. But everybody is waiting for the bus that will take them to their destination. And even with the bus, if it's bus 25 that I'm taking and a lot of people are in and the bus is full, even that some people will get to stop. Wherever the bus stop, they will get off. They will get off. So the person that is going to the last stop to get off. I am here to just encourage Mr. Ash Mufara by the unction upon my life, that he should stand strong, he's not alone. He is, he's not alone at all. Because even alone with God is more than multitude. This is the company that we have, bishops, apostles, pastors, prophets, and all that. After my speech, I'll make a request. If only you guys will accept it. Because I know what our God is capable of. He's more than able he is the one. All biblical examples that we, we read and we just get excited. It was human beings like you and I that went through that. And it's the same God that we believe that causes that miracle to happen. So why must our own be different? Unless we don't believe. Unless we are not in agreement. Unless we are not working in unity. But I can tell with the webinars upon webinars, and Mr. Ash coming together, we know people who heart is with him. I can tell you that somebody can be with you to know all your ideas about your vision. With your mind, you may think that they are with you. It's only God that can open your heart or your mind to know what the person is with you for. That's why the Bible made it plain that the heart of man is desperately wicked. Who knows? Nobody. 
unless God himself revealed deep and secret things concerning the people around you. So I'm very grateful that he has, you know, see where he is going and he has put his foot down and said, I'm in charge. And by saying that, heaven has endorsed it and the angels Amen. have endorsed it. And we Amen. too, we are standing with him. Amen. Whether the devil like it or not, unpassive will not fail. Hallelujah. Whether they like it or not, it will not Amen. fail. I saw some comments on Africa unit or whatever. You know, I wanted to have a nap because I was tired today. When I saw, who is this? Oh, no, this is not the time we need this. No, 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 no. Who is this person? You can't come and spoil anybody's mind. You can't come and pollute anybody. But thanks be to God that the uh, uh, admin uh, deleted the person quickly. But the, the way the person was coming, I said, this is their mind that are not ready to go to help people. These are the selfish people because sometimes you don't need to advertise yourself or you don't need to tell people who you are. Your deeds will show you. Yes. Yeah, patient, whatever that we are going through is good though. It's like you being in a relationship with somebody and waiting for development to become a marriage. If you are not patient, the longer you wait, you will see the good and ugly and, and, and the bad in the person. Those that rush to do things, they don't last. And every good thing come with patience and endurance as well. That's what David said. I waited patiently to the Lord. And it was good that I was afflicted. When you are waiting, affliction will come. When you are waiting, everything will throw on you. So the word that I want to give to Mr. Ash Mufara and the family is in Isaiah 41, chapter uh, verse uh, 10 to uh, 12. I read, because there's power in the word of God. Hallelujah. He said, fear not, Mr. Ash Mufara. I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. The God that you believe in, the Lord said he is with him. I will strengthen you. This is the time that he needed it most. Yes, I will help you. The Lord is his helper. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand, not contaminated hand. Not any hand is the righteous hand of Jehovah, the creator of heaven and earth. The one that I promised his children that I will no longer withhold any good thing from you. Therefore, wherever that is coming from, must we know? No. We don't need to negotiate with God before we know where the help is coming from. Do the right thing. We never dreamt that we get connected to a, a, a business like this. We have been in businesses. There was one business that came from America called Uganda Gold. I don't know if any one of them, uh, any one of you are, are, are aware of it. You have to register. The registration alone is in the level 250, 500, 1,000, 1,005 up to 2,000. We all get ourselves involved in it. and But then you have to buy products and sell yeah. the products. Uh, the tea, the, that mushroom tea, mocha, latte, and all that. As I'm talking to you, I have a list of people who are owing me. How can I chase them? Some of them have even left the church. But where did they end? Nothing. What did we do to the CEO? We didn't even see the CEO. We had a yeah. meeting I even hold one of the meetings in my, my house where I was living before. People are coming from Birmingham. The place was packed because they believe that if I introduce something, then the thing is right. But then I was so desperate for money. The truth is only once. Hallelujah. So when they came, they were all come with good intention that we are coming to get a uh, profit or multiple sources of income. But it turned other way around. But because... Some of them respect me much. They did not say anything. But those two that owe me, I just balance it. Because I caused people to come. They invested in it. They find nothing. But me, when people are owing me, let's, let's balance it and call it done. So Man. with Unpassive, the Lord that created heaven and earth, that give men wisdom and understanding and ideas to put things together, to reach less privilege, will make sure, will see through that Unpassive stance. In the name of Jesus. And also he said, Thank you. He said, Do not be afraid. Behold, all those who were insane against you shall be ashamed and be disgraced. When he came and said, Some people, insiders, have betrayed him and all that, I was laughing. It will have to happen. 
for you to know the rare people that are going with you. <laughs> it has That's to right. happen. It has That's to right. happen. Sometimes we live with madras. We don't know. We live with people that are evil, that they can even swallow us alive. We don't know. So God, something, God allows something to happen and give us the grace to take our stand. That is what Mr. Asmufora has done. And he said, All right. <clears throat> you shall seek them and you will not find them. The last request that I'm making, I know I'm going, uh, that's why I don't, yeah. I don't want, when I come, I don't want to talk. Hallelujah, sorry. The, the, the request that I want to make now is I believe there's a lot of ministers, pastors, bishop, and all that. My request is that in time like this is the time that we come together and join forces for what we believe in. So I'm going to request if uh, I, I believe uh, any time um, uh, Mr. Martin Gambo and Chris, Chris always, you know, requests for us to mention those that are sick in prayers and all that, which is a good thing to do. So I know they have faith of uh, God to move because without faith, it is impossible. So we open our mouth and pray as believers, nothing will happen. It happened in Acts chapter 12, verse 1 to 19. The Bible says that Herod arrested who James and killed him. And he pleases them, they were excited. This is the giant that is about to come to the world. When they killed James, they were excited. What did they do? They are just preaching the gospel, you know, teaching people how to live right and walk in the light. Yet they killed them, they silenced them. So any power that have opened their mouth wide to, uh, to swallow uh, uh, on Pasi, they will vomit it by fire in the name of Jesus. So what I'm saying is that when it came to uh, the, 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 the sense that uh, James have been killed and they have arrested Peter too, what did they do? They call for an emergency prayer. Hallelujah. And the Bible said when they start praying, when they start praying, they were praying. But God, because he has opened the heavens and his ears have opened to the cry of the righteous, Heavens opened and the angels were released. And when the angels came, what did the angels do? Angels helped Peter to put on his sandals. And he bring it okay. out. The, 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 the guards were there. They didn't All see. Right. This God is moving. Okay. All right, Bishop. Time. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, I think yes. we've uh, given you yes. ample time. So uh, the one thing that I would take from you is that you, mm. you said mm. only God can stop him. So mm. nothing can stop on passive. Only God can stop on passive. Let's have our faith in our founder, Mr. Ash. And we just uh, keep praying and praying and praying. Thank you so much. Please come again next week. Thank you. And uh, I think we have Sister Ivy Mix is in the house. Ivy Mix. Is Ivy Mix there? Did I see her? Yes, I saw her. So we'll go to Ivy Mix. And then I think uh, Uncle Mike Ellis is here. We'll take uh, maybe final comments on him and if any of my brothers anybody who are already over time um if any of us wants to have a word or two and then we can wrap up i know it's sunday everybody wants to be with their family so thank you all for your patience let's hear from ivy mix i know after that i don't know what ivy mix is going to do with us ivy mix it's all yours yeah thank you so much thank you so much i appreciate um the invitation to speak and um I just um, every time want to say thank you to the great people of Unpassive, especially um, our great men that I see here. I see um, Mike Ellis. I see um, Uncle Bob. I see um, Engineer Mike, um, um, Collins, Andy Burks. You know, the list is Oliver, Vincent. I hope I didn't miss anybody. I'm trying to look, you know. Um, they are not special more than anybody else, but they have given us the chance to flourish. You know, when your men... Am I speaking English? My computer is saying I'm speaking another language. Okay. Oh, we can hear you five on five. You are very clear. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, so um, I just want to say thank you. And then we have uh, a leader that believes in us. Let me tell you, ladies and even gentlemen all over the world, 
you know, to have this forum for us to flourish. It comes from ash. Because the very first day, going back to why we're here today, is to, 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 to know and to, uh, 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 to hear. Most of the time, we don't hear what he says. To hear what he said on his 360 life. When he comes out to visit us, are we listening? Are we going back to listen? I, I went to listen back about four times. It is a good practice because at times you miss what your heart should know. The person who invited me to on passive, when he called me, he said, I want you to know about Ash. I want you to know that he's married. I want you to know that time he had one child. I think the other one was on the way. I can't remember. And he also said to me that Ivy, he's already a millionaire. He already has money. He already has made it in life and he wants to help us. I just want us to remember that. Some people, we come back and we forget who he was. He was already self-made. And then he told me that his wife was an equal match with brains to him and was a partner working with him. That meant a lot to me. A woman who is a helper in any way. Are you getting me? So when we, we meet people, we want to know who is with them. The Bible says, more are they that are with us. I saw that Mike Ellis was with him. I saw that Madi Gamma was with him. I saw that great people were with him. I saw Dr. Bill Williams was with him. Who did you see? You have, he had people before people joined him. I'm telling you, he had his own people. Mm -hmm. Oh. That, that is credibility enough. And all those people who were with him are still with him and more than with him. Look at Mike Ellis here. I listened to his tapes over and over again. One day, my husband said to me, he says, who is that guy who is sitting in front of that? Uh, 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 was it, I think a bookcase. I don't know what is behind him. I said, yeah. yeah. I said, I have to listen to him every day. I listen to him. Who is with you? The OTEC pros, why do we follow uh, Ma Maddie and Ma? It's because they are who is with you. So that's the first thing I heard. So on Thursday, when he was speaking, I remembered why I joined on passive. I joined on passive because of that two minute sentence this man told me about who he was, who was with him, and where he was going. All the rest. We did not have a website or anything then. So do you remember what he said this, um, um, O360? He said it many times. Who is leading you? Who are you looking for? Who are you following? Check why you are following him. Did you follow who brought you in? The person who brought you in is very important. What did the person say to you? Did the person tell you who Ash was? Did the person tell you that Ash was a family man? Did the person tell you how brilliant he was and how brilliant? You tell me, if you don't know these things, you'll be thinking that's the reason why you'll be carried away by every wind of doctrine. When you know who he is, I will not be shaking. I cannot be shaking. It reminds me of a story. We've just come from, we all go to church, but this one is a story that cuts through all religions. There was in the, in the days of Babylon, there were three guys who were not bowing to rumors and what people were saying. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And the Bible says that they were put in the fire. They were put in the fire. After they were put in the fire, we heard the fourth man walking in there like a son of man, coming to save that man. Oh my God, my, 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 my computer is not working. Okay, it is. <laughs> We can hear you. It looks like somebody is trying to share their screen again. Okay. All right. Go ahead. So, you, you're yeah, fine. Yeah. Okay. So what I want to bring, I, I'm not going to bring all the story. The people that is us, that are with Ash, do you know what they said to the king? They said, we know God is going to rescue us, but even if he doesn't rescue us, we're still going to stay with Ash. Are you an even if? Are you an even if bound in the fire? 
they are saying there's this business here, there's this to do, there's that to do, there's this problem, there's this problem. Are you an even if? Are you the nevertheless? No matter what anybody says, are you going to stand with him? Because let me tell you something, ash is in the fire, but the fourth man, God is with him there. And let me tell you something, when they took that, when they took that man out of the fire, not the smell of fire on this man. God is going to rescue Ash. There's not going to be a smell of fire. There's not going to be a smell of what he's been through. There's not going to be. So we better stand with him. In every situation, everybody has to go through a test. And this is his test. And then we are asking ourselves, are we standing with him? Or is it now that we're going to shy away from him? Are you getting me? We are not going to be doing that. And then... Another situation, at times we, we go back to the Bible, not because we want every, anybody to, 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 to think that's all we know. We know other things. It says that the pillar of fire moved by day and moved by night. And then when it came to a place, it stood still. And then what did the people do following Moses? They all stood still. What does it mean? They said, they move with a cloud. We only move with ash. We move when he moves. We stop when he stops. Now he wants us to stop and pay attention to ourselves, pay attention to each other. That's what we are going to do. When he says we should turn a corner, then we turn a corner. We're not going to go without him. We cannot even, can you go without him? Let me ask. We cannot go without him. At this time, all that I can say is, this is the time for us to look within ourselves and just improve our lives. This is the time that I'll say that let's make friendships. I just had a, 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 a live or something. I didn't even know what I was going to say. I've made so, I had over 40 calls, so many messages, and I've made friends with people I did not know. You can do that. Like on this, you can, you can talk to somebody. You can change your life. You can, you can do something in the, in the interim whilst waiting. So at this time, just, just the question I'll ask at the end, are you going to be a nevertheless? Are you going to be, even if everybody goes, am I going to be standing? Thank you. You're muted, Bob. All right, Ivy. <laughs> Believe you me. <laughs> I was listening to Ivy and I was taken aback and I, I thought she was still going to say something. Even afterwards, she spoke and she said, thank you. I was I was still waiting for her to keep going. <laughs> thank you, my dear sister, Ivy. Um, could it have been the, the one and only great speaker to speak last? And then we'll hear our final word from our brother, our big brother, Mike Ellis to just uh, sum it all up for us and then um, we go. But I want to also acknowledge that even though we did not get our Sunday love from our brother Maddie, he said that he's sending out his Sunday love to all of you. Okay? So everybody, receive your Sunday love from Matthew Degamo. Brother Mike, it's all yours to wrap up. Yeah, no, th thanks, Bob. I, I, <laughs> you know, your webinars never disappoint, Bob. And if you wanted a little bit of spiritual growth, you needed to be here today. Wonderful, I tell you. <laughs> and and everybody needs that. Uh, everybody here today was just awesome. I, I mean, you guys were just great. I, I, uh, I I'm per, I'm a pretty simple guy, and 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 when I first came into on passive, I, I I just want to give you very very simply what on passive is. It's very simple, and it starts with this: I've got it, and you can't have it. Okay. And I know everybody's out there going, what? That's not on passive. And you're right. But I've heard that over my life in my life so many times. I've got it. You can't have it. And then I heard Mr. Mufar in very, very simple terms. I've got it. And I want you to have it. That is the essence of on passive. And I, I, I love what Jerry had to say. I love what Ivy just said, too. I, I, I mean, you guys are just awesome. But Jerry, he talked about poverty in his, in his country. And there are a lot of different kinds of 
poverty. Uh, and, and Ivy just talked a little bit about it. Maybe she didn't know it, but she did. Uh, and there is a mm. poverty of the spirit. And if, if you can give prosperity to the spirit, everything else becomes very, very easy. And yes, in Unpassive, because of all the things that Ash have, has done, all the structure of Unpassive, all the marketing, everything that Mr. Mufara has done, it will bring that financial blessing to each and every one of us. But I think when you think about on passive and you listen to everybody that's here, you 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 get to the place where you you want to prosper in the spirit. You want to grow spiritually. And on place on passive is the place to do that. It really is. So I've got it. You can't have it. I know everybody here has heard that. You've heard it probably more than once. You get a job, work till you're 65, retire and die. You can't have what I have. Mr. Mafar has turned that around. I've got it, and I want you to have it. That really is the essence of, of Unpassive. If you're new to Unpassive, as Ivy said, listen to Mr. Mufara. When you listen to him, you'll start to understand his vision, what he's trying to do. And when you understand that, you'll be in because he will change your life. Bob, I'll turn it back over to you. Just short and simple. All right. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. That was... Uh... That was that was that was quite a, a day, brother. Mike, thank you so much for your consistency. Always there for us, for every founder from day one. The first day we came in till today, you are still here. That's why we call you the Habinga of of all passive. That's the bearer of. <laughs> I'm gonna the have news. to remember that word, Bob. Habinga. The Habinga yes, that's Habinga. the man who makes it, who announces, who gives the good news, who, <laughs> who gives the message all the time. Thank you so much, sir. You know, today was pretty spirited. We we really uh, appreciate everyone for coming. It was it was uh, like Mike said. It was um, it was very uh spiritual. Started by Collins. Collins came in. No, started by Gifty. I think Gifty Gifty gave the <laughs> the first go, and then Collins came along, and then uh, uh uh Pastor Jerry came along, and then our sister Bishop Crystal Bell, and then. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, our sister Ivy Mix. So that was just beautiful. So thank you all for taking the time to join us again today. I'll just end by this quote. One thing that Mr. Asher that I forgot to, to mention earlier. In the, in the webinar on 360, he said this direct quote, and I'm quoting him. He said, I have known you people's lives and stories, and I will not let you down, not in my deathbed. That's what Ashwin Farah said. That's what our founder said to us. So I want us to take that with us as we go. Thank you for joining us today at uh, uh, our Heroes Webinar. We meet here every Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. So we we'll see you next week. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.